You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter at NAB 2019, and I'm here with Harry Patel of Panasonic, and you guys announced a brand new camera this year. Talk a little bit about it. Hey, uh, so this is the first uh, Panasonic 4K shoulder mount camera that's going to be part of our P2 lineup. This camera has a super 35 imager with an expansion lens uh, that's going to adapt to 30 inch lenses. It's going to support all of the P2 codecs uh, that Panasonic has as part of the current lineup, along with uh, support for P2Cast. Uh, as you have heard, uh, that Panasonic has a very nice service that allows you to bring all the content back from the field back uh, into the station uh, within near live proxy workflow. So uh, the, the prototype camera is going to be starting to ship r roughly around December. Now talk about uh, why this is important. We hear about 4K cameras all the time and everything like that. What makes this one specifically mo uh, important? Is it because of the broadcast of it? or? Yeah, so many of the broadcast customers, as they're making their purchases, they are always asking the question, do you have a 4K camera? Uh, and, and hence, we are listening to that request and put, putting together a prototype that would offer 4K ENG workflow. Uh, unique to this particular camera is that we are going to use a single imager, Super 35. Now, with the large imager, it is going to offer if similar, if not better, sensitivity as to 3 chip 4K cameras. As you know, those uh, 3 chip 4K cameras have smaller pixel sizes, uh, which reduces the dynamic range. With the uh, larger sensor, we are able to offer better sensitivity as well as better dynamic range. So with the CMOS sensor, we're going to get something that looks more cinematic, if, for lack of a better term? No, actually, uh, with the Super 35 imager and the expansion lens, it is still going to have the two third inch window. So the depth of field is still going to be just like a two third inch imager. Okay. And uh, what about uh, low light capabilities of the camera? As I said, the large imager allows us to have bigger buckets, bigger pixels. Hence, the sensitivity and the dynamic range of it is going to be uh, good enough, actually, if not good, very good as three chip cameras. And uh, is the camera available now then? Or? Uh, it's going to start shipping in December. And uh, w do you guys have a price point in mind yet? Not yet. Coming soon. So they should check the website for more information? Yes, please. Panasonic.com slash US. You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss.